Okay, this is Kana Iso. This is another little beach seaside area in Kadalgawa. And on the way down from the parking lot, you walk by this giant banana tree. And so up there you can see a bunch of bananas actually growing. They're green, so they are hard to see. And I guess not ready to eat yet. But as far as I know, you could eat them if they turn yellow. They're really funny looking. There's uh, some of the flowers are still down here hanging down and they're really weird looking. <laughs> the purple things dropping down from the end. Yeah, I never saw a banana tree in real life before. So I was very surprised to see that this is what banana flower and banana branches look like. Yeah, this is Kana Iso. We are on the Kadogawa side of Tomi Peninsula now. So you get a pretty clear view back towards Hyuga and the backside of Otojima when you come down here. It is all paved, so you can drive all the way down here, but people do take their um, K trucks down here to go fishing, so it's maybe not nice to park in the road because you'll block the way. But there's a lot of really awesome rocks down here. My friends found a bunch of coral on this beach. So if you're into looking at interesting shells and beautiful rocks and coral, definitely come down here and walk along the beach. Yeah, so you can see all of Umagase and Hosushima. Umagase. Yeah, that's Umagase, this long strip here. Where the cranes are, that's Hosushima. Tucked in there, it's kind of cloudy and smoggy today. You can see where uh, Hyuga is. And then this right in front of us is Otojima. This is the side you cannot see from Karogawa Port. So Karogawa Port is right on the other side mm. of the island here. Mm. And look, here someone comes. They were probably fishing. Mm. There are a few houses down here, so it's not as remote as it feels. Yeah, not that many people come down here, so mm. it's a really nice place to walk. The, the road goes down. It's probably about 10 minute walk and there's a giant cave down there. Mm. It's difficult to get to have to scramble over a lot of rocks but yeah it's a really nice place to take a walk if you're in Katalgawa and want to relax mm. 